I what? made it back. What did I say was going to happen if we got each other again? We're going to have another conversation. Well, let's get it. So, All right. what else is new? What conversations have you had since I left? Um, let's see here. Let's see. I talked to this one girl. She had these really cool headphones on. They were like cat ears. We were talking. She had like this hippie vibe going on. We were just talking about just talking about people on here and how no one wanted to talk tonight and how people were just staring at their ceilings. Um, talked to this other girl about her night and how she was doing. She said she was doing shit. I talked her through it. Told her everything was going to be all right in the end and that she could get through it. She really What tried. was she wearing? Um, she had a big septum ring. Okay, no, I didn't have her. No. I had a weird conversation. One girl did the same thing and then she, uh, tried to do some inappropriate things and it was, it was odd. I don't normally oh. get, I don't normally get that with women here, but I got four videos with inappropriate women. It was weird. Oh, damn. Yeah. Normally the men I'm used to, but I don't know. It's sad. I like, I can understand men being animalistic to some degree, but when women do it, I, it's just, it's sad. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. You know, it's just, at this point, here's the conversation starting, by the way, so go ahead and gear up. You got any snacks or anything? Uh, I have Oreos, but they're all the way over there. And someone just made me take a blinker with them. Girl, I thought you said you, said you smoke <laughs> depression and anxiety. You sound like you're getting high. Well, I am. I'm having fun with it tonight, but that ain't home. Hmm? Your dad's not home? Is he a single father? Um, Kind of. He just got a new relationship, actually. <laughs> I'm talking about he's your biological father, your biological mother's not around, or the person who raised you, my bad. Um, yeah, he's my biological dad. I just don't talk to my biological mother. Why is that? Um, a lot of reasons. One of the main ones is she got in a huge fight with me in the middle of the street, and then another time she blamed me for putting crystal meth in her bag when I hadn't been living with her for two months at that point. You should have put it in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So... Your father's out working? Um, actually, I don't know what he's doing. He just kind of leaves sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to have a vacation, but he has cameras in every single room of the house. There's All the windows are bolted shut. There's alarms on all the doors. And I have a tracker on all my phones. Are you that bad? No. He's just paranoid. Like, all the, all the rooms we're not allowed in have fingerprint locks on them and shit. Like, he's just a little weirdo. Is there a reason? Um, my one sister likes to run away sometimes. Oh, you have a sister? I have three sisters. They all live with you? Or they all live with him? Yeah. They swap back into between the houses. I live with my dad primarily until I can move out. And you're 18? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to move out? Because he wants me to move out. Oh. He told, you get, <laughs> he told you get out. But I make fifty dollars a week and owe him a thousand, so I get I give him my full paycheck each week. You owe him a thousand a month? No, no, no. Um, my car. We he bought me my first car for two hundred and ten dollars, but I had to pay for the repairs, and I rebuilt the entire front end of the car for a thousand dollars because he's a mechanic. So all I had to do was buy the pieces, and he put it in for me. But it's still falling apart. It has been inspected in five years. Needs an ABS pump. Doesn't have crash control. It's leaking. But we're good. It's You know, and what am I hearing in the background? I have no clue. You know, uh, I guess I'm hearing myself kind of coming from the phone or something. But, you know, in no disrespect to your father. He's, he's doing the best that he can with the best that he is. I don't know where his mind is. I don't understand why some fathers raise their daughters like men. You're not a man. You'll never be that. And I don't understand why he's trying to make you so, like, independent, kind of. And uh, you got to get out at 18. What's supposed to happen, in my opinion, obviously. The man's supposed to eventually take you away from the home. And you go with him. Happily married, as we talked about earlier. But him raising mm -hmm. you the way you are is going to make you hard. And unfortunately, men don't like hard. Because what does that remind them of? Men. Men don't want to be with other men. And so I'm hoping that you can get out of this. Um, 
somewhat unscathed and still be able to keep your femininity because once that starts to go <laughs> it just sucks but it's not i'm not going to say it's your fault necessarily right now because you're so young but that's just kind of where he's pushing you to and now you have to go get a place making 50 dollars a week this is impossible yeah i know it's crazy like 50 dollars a week i get none of my paycheck almost like, i don't understand what that's doing for you I even told him, I was like, what's the point of this car? And he's like, well, it's teaching you a lesson. I was like, what lesson? I already know money. I had four jobs at 14 and I got all of them by myself and I was getting there by myself through taxis. I don't, know. I don't get it at this point. Um, so what's the plan? <laughs> I am trying to get a new job. I'm going to try to work with my uncle to start working with him because he lets my younger sister work with him, but he says he has no more positions for me. How much so, could, How much could you make? She makes $500 a week and she gets hour-long breaks, multiple hour-long breaks. $500 before taxes? I don't even think she gets taxes because it's family. It's like a family-owned business. The other warehouse. You might want to keep that to yourself. Nobody can get paid. <laughs> yeah, nobody can get paid without paying taxes. That's not how it work. The IRS will be after her. Does, it gets put into her bank account. So I think she does. She better. You don't. You can't make money not paying no taxes. I promise you that. Yeah. If, she, if she's getting paid under the table, keep that to yourself. Okay. I think so because she has a bank account now and it gets it's direct deposit. It's direct deposit. Mm hmm. Okay, so it's, it's probably coming from the business then. Okay. Yeah. She, well, I guess she, I guess that's her own business. Okay, nonetheless, five hundred dollars in. Uh, you live on the west coast or the east coast? East coast. Not okay. Ford is pretty cheap. Uh, well, I consider that the south side. You don't live in like New Jersey or anything like that. New York. I live in New Jersey. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're fucked. Uh huh. But they just raised minimum wage to fifteen an hour. Yeah, but that's because it's expensive as hell to live in New Jersey. I know it's <laughs> just a, to live in someone's garage with no bathroom is a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, it's insane to live there. <laughs> okay, so I was gonna say five hundred dollars a week, uh, but in New Jersey, that's that might as well be two hundred dollars a week. I mean, two thousand dollars. That I don't even know what that would get you. You just said a. A garage, you might be able to get a one bedroom, maybe, and that's well, damn your whole working Like three days a week, I'd be able to work all the week, so maybe I'd be able to make more. How much is a one bedroom out there? Um, around two thousand for a decent one. Okay, <clears throat> so let's say at the so an extra two days, the most you probably be making is maybe an extra two fifty a week, probably. Yeah. So that means damn near your whole check, at least 70% of your check is going to just rent. You still have to eat. You still have to pay electric. You still have to pay for Insured. gas, water. All out of you know how this would be easier? Is get that... out of Jersey. <laughs> yes, that's number one. And if you can't get out of Jersey because you want to stay around family, which is fair, um, no, I'm moving the hell out of here as soon as I can. Get the hell out of the way from these people. All right, girl, just don't move too far. I made that mistake. Don't do it too far. Just stay with stay within striking distance. But nothing. I'm gonna go like PA or like Maryland or something. Oh, okay. Okay. And you know what's also gonna make life easier? You know what I'm gonna say? Hmm. Getting married after you get through with your therapy. Listen, this world is not made for a lot of us to live by ourselves, um, because the income is just not there. And it's yeah, going to be a hell of a lot easier with two people in the house. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you're okay with splitting the household and yeah. bills and all. Okay. So you're not looking to be a housewife. No. Okay. Okay. You got a head on your shoulder. Not saying you can't be a housewife. You absolutely can. But. What you... I actually, I don't think I'd ever want to be a housewife. I don't want to ever have kids. I'd actually want to adopt. Mainly because my family has a lot of reproductive issues. Oh. Okay, fair enough. 
And I was going to say, there's nothing wrong with being a housewife. It's just that, you, I mean, you're young. You got to get started now. If you're going to find them. And you would have to find a guy who's like 35, 40. Because yeah. men don't make that kind of money till they're much older. So, But if you're willing to get with a guy, you know, he works at the local McDonald's. You, <laughs> you work at the local Taco Bell. Y'all just make it work. And y'all struggle until y'all don't have to. People do that all the time. That's what they used to do back in the day. They used to get together and say, hey, let's just do it, you know. And then yeah. maybe they fell in love after the, you know. My mom friend wants to do it. He's like, we'll just get, we'll both get jobs. Wait, wait you're who? Yeah. My friend. Oh, okay. I thought you said something else. Wait. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> your friend wants to do what? Yeah. Wants to be roommates. This is a guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. No, for years. He's gay. Mm, nope. Girl. No? Sex is sex. Okay? At the end of the day. Doesn't matter who it comes from. I'm telling you. I've seen these things you happen. Think so? This I've man, seen... like, wears dresses and shit. Like. Well, did he have a boyfriend? Mm-hmm. Maybe. A man, a man can always change overnight. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, people do it. I knew a man who was, he was gay for uh, 10 years, something like that, but he's married now with a wife and kids. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, everybody, I'm not going to get too deep, but you know, be, it's not a forever thing. It's, it's just not, mm-hmm. you know, so you never know. One night, I'm just saying, be careful. I would, I would rather get a female than me personally. Yeah. But yeah. you said he wants to be roommate, so he's going to move to Maryland? We're just going to try to find wherever's cheapest, wherever we can both get a job that we can both live. What's his boyfriend think about that? His boyfriend's long distance anyway. His boyfriend lives across the country. And you said he is gay? Because he wears dresses? Mm-hmm. Not only that, this motherfucker's just gay. <laughs> okay, be pretending. He won't be the first guy I've seen do that. Nonetheless, <clears throat> let's say you do move in with him, and it's all good. Uh, how much does he make right now? Um, right now, actually, I don't know how much he makes. Do you have a job? Huh? Have a job? Yeah, he has a job. Um, yeah, I guess that I guess that'll have to work for now. Man, and he's willing to move anywhere you go. Mm-hmm. Anywhere that we can find that's cheap that isn't close to where I am now. Because he used to live here. He's moved to PA. Mm. See, the thing with roommates that's a little bit different than obviously marriage <laughs> is roommates can screw you over. Um, mm-hmm. So, what I would highly suggest is while you're working, whatever money you're not spending, obviously you have to eat. You can't go to a place where you got to spend damn near every dime to survive because you may need to put some money back because if he does screw you for any reason, guess who's going to get evicted? The both of you, right? Mm -hmm. Put some money. I'm not saying your best friend would do that to you, but I've learned the hard way. You can can go on YouTube right now. Roommates from hell. You see them all over the world. Everybody can get screwed over. Maybe you would screw him over. Hopefully not, but who knows? (laughs) So. Uh, I hope not. (laughs) Put some money back. Make sure that if you need to keep thinking to yourself, if he does not pay rent, do I have enough to cover it? And that's that's how cheap y'all need to go. You need to be like, if I had no choice but to pay rent by myself, could I afford it? Or at least yeah. close to it. That's where, that's how cheap y'all need to go. Where y'all could almost make it by yourself. Now, where are you going to go? That's going to be tough. You, you might be in a one bedroom. Somebody sleeps in the living room. Somebody sleeps in the bedroom. I've been in that situation yeah. too. And if you have to go to a garage, you just buy a big old curtain and just split it. And then make it happen. Loft beds. If you, can, if you can be that close to somebody every night, yeah. I can't. No way I could have done bunk beds. I was forced to sleep in a room with four people for most of my life before I moved out of this basement. <laughs> I don't yeah, care. But that's family. It's hard when it's somebody that's not family. It's harder. Mm-hmm. You ever live with True. anybody that's not family? Mm-hmm. You have? Mm-hmm. Who? He was uh, my other gay best friend who moved to Puerto Rico. He actually like moved, like would go with me every week to both my parents' houses when I talked to my mom at that point still. So. 
Do you make any female friends? Um, yeah, sometimes, but they all hated me. Okay. They even told me to the face that they hated me. Like told like told me they were like, I was never your friend. We all hated you. We talked about shit about you all the time. Okay, let me ask you a question. If somebody walked up to me and says that every friend I've had hates me, what do you think that I'm gonna think it's all of them or I think it's gonna be you? Me. What did you do? Um that friendship. Her best friend, his boyfriend, got a bet with his best friend to both flirt with me. And then they didn't do anything, but it, like, I don't even know. That's it? Was it? Some fucked up shit. Yeah. And every one of them hated you? Mm-hmm. You ever had a female friend since? Um, I had before. Um, their name was Izzy. We just kind of grew apart. They kind of did their own thing. Okay, so how long is it going to take to put this plan in place? Um, I'm hoping within the next year. Okay. That's a fair amount of time. Okay. Um, and... Hmm. Sorry, my camera went out. Uh, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, it's still black, just like me, so it's all good. Oh! Uh... I'm using a point-and-shoot camera, so they, they go mm. off. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Damn, girl. It's hard meeting you young people, man, because it just takes me back, bro, because I was... Mm -hmm. I remember being homeless. I was sleeping in bathrooms, sleeping with no heat, no AC. Damn. The good old days. I'm just hoping <laughs> that doesn't happen for you. That's why I'm saying, like... And to be honest with you, I'm not going to put... I was one of the bad roommates. I'd have been the one that fucked you over. That'd have been me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. I was not a good person back then. You know, um, very selfish. Um, thought I thought I deserved it all, and uh, that came back to bite me. Like I said, homeless. I've had a, been evicted. I've had my cars taken away from me that I oh, paid shit. for full cash because I'm a dumbass. Um. I made a lot of stupid ass mistakes, man. Yeah, but what you can do different from me is just uh be humble, no matter what. If you get if you get a day behind on rent, you need to tell somebody that day. Because you mm -hmm. what you don't want to do is be like, Oh hey, I'm about to get evicted, can you help me? Don't don't do somebody like that. You know, don't don't because then you're putting all the pressure on them. But if you say, Hey, I'm a day behind they say, I got three weeks. That's different. Somebody can help you in three weeks. They'll be like, oh, okay, okay. All right, let me go talk to some people. But if you're like, I'm getting evicted tomorrow, oh, you're fucked. They're going to let you get evicted. Don't, you can't do that to somebody. Yeah. I'm just teaching you this lesson now because it's about to get real tough for you, young lady. It shouldn't be happening to you. Yeah. It, ideal situation for me. You wait until you finally find the guy that you're going to marry. Then y'all get married. You move into a place. Uh, y'all struggle together for a while. Okay? Um, oh, yeah. Unless you were to date... Um, a man who was making those kind of money, that kind of money. But nonetheless, uh, man, it's the best of luck, man. I'll tell you what. When me and my wife got together, it was a struggle, too. We moved, um, got married, slept on the floor. Slept really on the hard-ass floor. And now I got a four-bedroom house. So it, it, things. things change, you know? So, but at the same time, it's going to be hard, man. I, I, I ain't know what to say. Like, I want to be positive, but I'm just saying, like, just keep your head up. You know, I've had some friends who, uh, they got to the hard times, man, and they just cut themselves off yeah. from life. And it's just, it's sad. It's sad, especially young men. Young men feel like they have to own the world in their 20s. Uh, women get away with it a little bit more because there are men that will take them while they're still young. But men, once we get out here, especially if you're average looking like myself, no girl's looking for you. So you're going to be lonely. Then you're not going to figure out what the hell you want to do with your life. And then if you're broke on top of that, while you're trying to build skills, some men just can't handle it, man. Most people just make fun of those guys like, oh, they're losers and everything. That shit gets to people. It really gets yeah. to you. When you start to feel useless, everybody starts to lose hope. And some people, they just take their lives, man. I'm just glad I was able to make yeah. it through. And, uh... 
life isn't exactly where I want it to be, but I'm still young. I'm older than you by a lot, but young in my <laughs> own right. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just this is a long grind, you know. And you know yeah. what? I've been getting on this little app here. Even though I come across a lot of young people, this is fine. You know, I've been working with young people since I was 13. And, uh, yeah, I know that's weird. But when I was 13, I wasn't working with, like, 17-year-olds. When I was 13, I was working with kids who were, like, five and six. (laughs) But, you know, I'm glad I found this app. I know I get called the N-word a ton. Everybody does. Everybody does. You know. Really? Oh, yeah. I know white guys that I watch on YouTube who stream and they get called the N word too. So it's like it's just it's just oh, a yeah. it's just a word to them. You know, they're not really caring that you're black. They're just saying a word that they think trigger people, right? Yeah. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying what other people I know go through. Anyway, I get called that. You get called, oh man, you're being too serious. Look at how nice you are. Look at your nice camera. Look at your nice mic. And the reason I do this, I dress like this in real life. But the reason I do that on here as well. It's because one, it catches people's attention. And two, I'm very, I think it's very important how you present yourself. When I come on here and talk to people such as yourself, it, it, it seems way more authentic and it seems like I have more to say because of the way I dress. If I mm-hmm. get on here with a hoodie with a hat on backwards, yeah, some people listen to me. Um, but they're not going to think I'm really living the life I tell them I am. It's hard for me to go, hey, I was broke to not being broke if I still look broke. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's just, that's just how I see it. And even when I'm in public with real people, no men around me dress like I do, except for the men that I associate with. But like, if I go into town like this, people are going to be like, oh, you look nice while they're wearing holy sweatpants at Walmart. I just, I don't get that either. It's like, I I get, you need to just go get some bread at the store, but how you present yourself, in my opinion, is so important, you know, Mm -hmm. because if you, I have a goal in this life to help as many young people as I can. And as I get older, I'll help people, whoever. If I'm 50, I'll help people in their 40s. You know, I just want to keep doing that until after 30 years. I said, I'm going to do this for 30 more years because I've already done it for 20. After 30 years, 50 years, I'll be done if I make it that far. And then I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to pray every day until I die. And then that's going to be an end for me. That's all I'll do. I know after 50 years, I've done my part. I just want to go pray for people. Slime? Huh? You playing with slime? Slime. I spilled some water. Oh, it looked like you were playing with slime. I was like, is there No, this is a cloth. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I spilled water, so I was cleaning it up. Uh yeah. So that that's my lot in this life. Yep. And so I'm hoping you find yours. And uh I'm trying. I'm trying to make my life as best as it can be and make myself as happy as I can be and as comfortable as it can be. Well, that happy part, you may have to put that on the back burner. Happiness really comes and goes, man. But if you can stay joyful, which means no matter what, because happiness is, it it depends on how the day is going. If it's it's raining, you're probably not going to be happy. But you can be joyous that you get to feel the rain. You know, like, oh, yeah. you know, another day seeing the rain. Every day I wake up, I'm like, fuck it. I got to give it my all. I got to go to work here in a couple hours. I got to get right back up for work. But oh no, you know what? Don't give a fuck because this is what makes me. This is my purpose. You know, this is what makes me keep going every day. Every mm-hmm. day. Every day I can hop on this app and do the same thing every night. Even though I throw in the fun little edits like I showed you earlier. Did I do an mm-hmm. edit with you? I don't remember. I think so. Okay. Well, I can get on here and do all the dumb little edits, make some people laugh, but this is what I do it for. And uh, Mm. so hopefully, young lady, we'll see each other again. And uh, hopefully it's a little bit further than that, like tomorrow. But uh, (laughs) I do hope to see you one day and see that you're thriving, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. You have a great night. You too. You too. All right. All right, I'm done.